Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this bee, which is my logo. Now for the bee you'll need a bright yellow, white and black cotton or wool. I use four ply crochet cotton. I use white sewing thread to stitch it together and I use black sewing thread for the markings on the wings. I use a sewing needle and I use a darning needle to weave in my ends. I'll be using embroidery cotton to put on the markings on the eyes and I use a crochet hook and scissors. There are links to the items you'll need in the description below. Now we'll start with the head and our bright yellow. We start with a magic loop and work three chain and then we work 14 double crochet into the circle. And then we pull our circle tight and slip stitch into the third chain. For row two we start with three chain and work a double crochet into the same place as the chain. And now we work two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll finish this row and then I'll be back. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the third chain and fasten off. And that's the head finished. Now we're going to do the first black stripe. I join my black cotton just anywhere, I like to join it just behind the join. And I start with three chain. And then I work a double crochet into the same stitch as the chain. Now I work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and now three treble into the following stitch. And one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and then two double crochet into the next stitch. And that's the first row done. For row two, we start with three chain and we work one double crochet into the same place as, as the chain. Now we work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches.
Now one treble into each of the next three stitches. Now one double crochet into each of the next three. And two double crochet into the last stitch. and then we fasten off. Next we join our yellow in again into the first stitch and start with three chain we work one double crochet into the same stitch as the, the chain and then we work one double crochet into each stitch until the last stitch. Into the last stitch we work two double crochet For row 4 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work a double crochet into the same stitch as, as the chain and now we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch Into the last stitch we work two double crochet and we fasten off. Now we join our black again into the first stitch. And we start with three chain 
and then we work one double crochet into each stitch across. For row six we start with three chain and we work a decrease double crochet into the first two stitches. And then we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two. And then we work a decreased double crochet into the two stitches. And fasten off. Now we join our yellow into the first stitch and start with three chain Now we work a decreased double crochet into the first two stitches and then a decreased double crochet into the next two stitches now we'll work one double crochet into each stitch until we have four stitches left And then we work a decreased double crochet into the first two and then a decreased double crochet into the last two stitches. And our work starting to slope in. For row 8 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work 2 decreased double crochets over the first 4 stitches. And then to decrease double crochet over the last four stitches.
and then fasten off our, our yellow. And we'll join our black again into the first stitch. Now start with two chain and then work a half double crochet into the same stitch, a double crochet into the next stitch, two treble into the following stitch, A double crochet into the next and a half double crochet into the last stitch. And fasten off. And that's the bee's body. I'll weave in my ends and then I'll be back and we'll neaten the edges by stitching, doing a row of crochet around. To neaten my edges, I start just behind the head in the black, join the black in, and start with one chain. And work a single crochet in the same place. and one single crochet into each stitch across the black section. When I get to the last stitch on the black, I join in my yellow And then I continue with yellow, crocheting over the black. On the last stitch of the yellow, I bring my black up and then start using the black and crochet the yellow in behind. And then I go back to my yellow on the last stitch of the black to start with the yellow. And then we use our black again. Now 
at the <coughs> near the middle of the back we do three chain slip stitch into the second stitch from the hook single crochet into the following stitch and then a half double crochet into the third stitch and then continue with our single crochet around that's just for our, the stinger of the, the bee and then we just continue round as before when I get, get to here finish the body I cut the black off and just continue around the head with the yellow and join into the body so I'll continue round and I'll be back and we'll do the wings for the wing we start with 18 chain and then we work two double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and then one double crochet into each chain until we get to the last chain Into the last chain we work three double crochet and now we work one double crochet into the back of the chain all the way up to the end so this loop here in there I'll be crocheting in my end
and then slip stitch into the top chain just up the end here. For row two we start with two chain and then work one half double crochet in the same place. Now we work two half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Now one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And one treble into each of the next seven stitches. Now one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. Next we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and one treble into each of the next seven stitches. Now one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and you should have two stitches left so you work two half double crochet into each of these. If you don't have two stitches left just work half double crochet into whatever stitches you do have left. And then we slip stitch in the second chain and fasten off. That's our wing done. We'll need two, two wings. For the eyes we start with a magic circle and work one chain and then work ten single crochet into the circle. We pull the circle tight and then slip stitch into the chain and fasten off. 
we need two eyes. Next I'll do the antenna. I use black. Now I leave quite a tail to attach it to the head and I work nine chain. And then work a half double crochet in the second chain from the from the hook and fasten off. And I've just got a little type kind of circle there. I'll just attach it in there. Now I'll work another wing, eye and antenna and finish off my endings and I'll be back to show you how to put them together. Now here's all the pieces for the bee. If you'd like you could stitch markings onto your wings. That's what it looks like. It's just like a leaf. The, the markings for a leaf. Now firstly I'm going to stitch my eyes on just in there and then I'll embroider the black on and I'll also put the markings onto my wings and then I'll be back. Now there's the wings done and the eyes on. Next I'll stitch over the center circle with black and stitch a mouth on and I'll be back. Now we just stitch one antenna on about there and the other about there. For the wings we put one just in behind and the other goes on top just like that. So I'll stitch those on and I'll be back to show you the finished bee. There's the bee finished. If you like my video please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and Facebook. The details are in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.